Hey guys, this is the Balkan Architect and in today's tutorial I'm going to be talking about floor patterns in Revit. Now, usually when you're creating floor patterns, you're relying on the material that's being used for the finish layer of your floor. And if you want to change that pattern, it's usually a hassle because you need to change the image that's used as a material, so you have to use Photoshop. So in today's tutorial, I'm just going to show you a quick and easy way to do everything inside of Revit by cutting up the last layer of your floor and creating your own pattern and changing the material of different floor tiles. But before we get started, I would just like to ask you to like this video, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like these every day. Okay, so I'm going to be using the architectural template, so I'm going to open that up. And first I'm just going to set the units to centimeters because I think that's the right for this project and I'm going to start off by creating a floor. So I'm just going to be using a rectangle and let's do a rectangle like this. Let's make it 1000 by 1000 centimeters and just hit finish. Now as far as the material goes or the floor, I'm going to open up this properties panel drop menu and I'm going to choose just a bit more complex floor, so let's try this one. And once I've done that, it, I'm going to create just a section to show you all the layers. So let's open that up and change this to fine, so this is basically just your detail level. And as you can see here we have just a bunch of layers, and this is our finish layer, and we're going to be cutting up and changing this finish layer to create our floor pattern. So I'm just going to go into 3D, here we are, and here I'm just going to go to fine for the detail level and realistic for the visual style. And as you can see it looks like this right now, but we need to change it. So I'm just going to select this whole floor slab and I'm going to go here to create tab on the modify, basically modify tab, create panel and find this create parts. So I'm just going to hit that and as you can see it kind of basically dissolved all these layers so you can select individual layers and in order to create our floor pattern I'm just going to select the top layer or the finish material and I'm going to go here to divide parts. Now once that's done now I can actually cut up the material by using this edit sketch tool and as you can see we have this boundary line and that means that we can start modeling the sketch so I'm just going to go to level 1 and here I'm going to start creating the sketch. So I'm just going to create one line like this, 100 centimeters, and then another one at 60 degrees like so. I'm just going to copy this one on the other side, and let's copy this up, I don't know, like so, and let's trim this in place. Okay, now I'm just going to select this and mirror it, and I'm going to select these two and go draw mirror, and mirror it like this. Now maybe we can make this a bit shorter like this, same thing here, and just trim and extend these parts. Okay, so we have just one element of our floor pattern here, so I'm just going to move it, move it up a bit, like so, maybe move it here, and then I'm going to select it like this, everything except this line over here, and I'm going to go copy check here multiple and then I'm just going to copy it like this and copy it as long as you have basically your floor slab so you want to end up a little bit more than you have your floor like this and then I'm going to select everything but these lines over here I'm going to go copy and just copy everything on top over here and if you can't select it just hit the tab and there you go now we just need to mirror this to the other side, so I'm just going to go mirror and mirror it like this. Okay, so now we can delete these excess parts here and now we can start copying everything up. So again, select everything like this, go copy, make sure that multiple is selected and just copy this all the way up like that. Now we can select that and move it down a bit just a little bit. 
yeah that looks alright so now we need to just delete all these access lines that are on the outside of this boundary that we have so only lines that stop and end outside of this boundary so this line stops and ends outside and this one even though it's crossing the boundary line it starts from the inside so we don't have to delete it so I'm just going to delete these lines over here and perhaps everything over here okay so now we have our pattern cut out and we just go finish and we have this so again hit finish and now you can't really see the pattern in this view over here but if we go back into our 3d view we have our pattern and we can actually select individual elements so what I'm going to do here now I'm just going to select all of these elements on the whole drawing And once you have selected everything, you can go here to the Properties panel, and as you can see, there is no material. So if I scroll down, you can see here I have something material on original. So it basically means it's copying the material of the actual layer that was the original. So I need to uncheck that, and now I can set the material. So I'm just going to open up this menu, and it's concrete right now. I want to make it something, perhaps something white, so I'm just going to type in white and let's make it as a gypsum wallboard doesn't really matter usually you would want to pick out the material that would actually fit a floor but let's just do it quick for this tutorial now I'm going to select all of these other sides of this square that I have over here and you just hold the control key while you're selecting to select multiple And again, now we can change the actual material. So go here, uncheck this material by original, and then let's find something. I don't know, something black. Yeah, let's use this. Go OK. And there you go. Now we have our floor finish. And if we go into perhaps ray trace, it will create a rendering look of our actual floor and you can also see the layers over here. Okay, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope it was helpful. Please like and share this video. Leave any comments, questions or suggestions in the comment section below. Please subscribe and have a nice day.